Hey everyone, this is Isabella from scriptevolution.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up synergy between an Ubuntu server on the left and a Windows um, client on the right. Um, I set up my server just yesterday actually and it took so long because I was searching for days on the internet and I could not find a single comprehensive tutorial on how to do this. So I eventually figured it out myself with different bits and pieces that I was able to pull from the internet. And I want to share that with you guys so you don't have to go uh, looking through all the internet. Um, as you can see, this is my Ubuntu desktop. Um, and here you see, let me zoom in a little bit, here you see the mouse moving around the screen. And when you go to the left, I mean to the right, it stays stuck. It doesn't it doesn't go to my um to my windows, which is a hassle because this one right here on the right is actually uh just a dual monitor for my laptop, which is closed up next to my desk. And I don't want to have to be opening my laptop and reaching over every time I need to type something or use the trackpad. And I actually only have one set of keyboard and mouse right here. So it's, it's not the best situation if you have more than one computer. Um, so I'm going to show you really quick what Synergy does. And then we'll move on. Up here, these are just... Focusing on for you. These are just two buttons that I made for Synergy. The green one is go, the red one is stop. Um, so I'm just going to start the server. And if you follow the mouse, it disappears from the screen and appears right here. And the same thing, and then it appears right here. So, and this is just a button I made to stop it. So when I go to this side, it stays stuck. No mouse on the windows. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to set this up real quick. Okay, let's see if I can just get the camera to focus. I'm kind of new to this camera. It's a Nikon uh, D3100. Okay, the first thing you're going to need to do is go to the... Ubuntu Software Center, which is this is kind of annoying actually. Okay, right up here in this menu, which is a little bit blurry, is just the last one under Applications, and I'm gonna click it. Okay, and this window is gonna show up. Perfect. Now, on here on the right, you have a search bar. You're going to type Synergy. Um, as you can see, there are two options. First, there's Quick Synergy on the bottom, and then there's Synergy on the top. Um, you do not want to install Quick Synergy under any circumstances. Okay, you're going to click first one, Synergy, that says share mouse, keyboard, and clipboard over the network. And up here where it says remove on my corner, it's going to say install for you. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to click install, and it's going to install. Once that's done, you're going to have to open up the terminal. There we go. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make a configuration file for Synergy, so it knows exactly what computers and IP addresses you're using and where they are in relation to each other. So you're going to type sudo to become root, gedit, that's your text editing program that we're going to use, and then you're just going to pick your path. Um, I'm going to make it in home Isabella, and the name is going to be .synergy.c. 
C-O-N-F for config. And it's going to ask me for my sudo password. Okay. Now it's opened up gedit. And I already have my whole file written down, of course, because I already have Synergy working. So the first thing you're going to write right here is going to be section colon space screens. On the next line, you're going to write the host name of your server. In the second line, you're going to write the host name of your client. Find the host name. Let me open up another terminal window. To find the host name in your Linux, you're going to type simple host name in the terminal. As you can see, the host name is Isabella Desktop, which is why this is right here. Now, if we switch over to our Windows computer, I just started Synergy now because I don't want to have to pull out my laptop. Uh, you just open up the command line and you're going to type same thing, host name. And if you can see right here, it's Isabella-PC. Make sure your capitalization and all that stuff is identical. Okay, after ending that section, you're going to put section, colon space, aliases, Isabella desktop, and it's going to point to the IP address of this Isabella desktop uh, server. So, okay, you open up another terminal window. To find your IP address on your Linux box, you're going to type if config. And here I'm on Wi Fi. Uh, you have to make sure you're using the same. Um, the same Wi-Fi network. So if you can see up here, I'm using Winxis and right here my Windows. I'm also using Winxis. You have to make sure that that is the same because or else this is never going to work. Okay, back on the Ubuntu machine. Let me stop Synergy again. Okay, back on the Ubuntu machine, uh, you're going to find here WLAN 0 since I'm on a wireless uh, network. If you're on, um, if you're using Ethernet, it's going to be ETHO or ETH0. Okay, so here where it says int adder for your internet address, it's going to be this. Okay, and this is just my internal one, so I'm not trying to DOS me or anything. So this is what you're going to put right here. The same thing for your server. You're going to put the internet address, or the IP address of your server, or your host, or your client. I'm getting words on this stuff. Um, and you do the same thing on your Windows machine. Open up command line, and this time you're going to type IP config instead of if config. After ending that section, we're going to open up section links, and this is just going to show the relation of the desktops or the monitors to each other. So Isabella desktop, right over here, right shows that the right side of my Isabella desktop, which is my client, which is the Ubuntu desktop that I have right in front of me, that the right side is going to lead to my Windows machine. So this right side here is going to be active and it's going to link to my Windows machine. And we're also saying the same thing for Isabella PC. The left side of Isabella PC is going to link to the right side of the Ubuntu machine. And then we just end that section. After you finish that, you're just going to control S and save it. We'll say save and file, and then you can close it out. Okay. Now I'm just going to clear my terminal. And what we're going to